Hello there! Now the problem I have with Christmas sweaters is you spend all that money and only get to wear them for like four weeks out of the year. No other item of clothing would you buy to wear for such a short period of time, unless you live in England and own a pair of shorts for the two and a half days of summer we get every year. Now the other problem is you go out to a big store and find one you like, only to spot loads of other people wearing the exact same one. For those reasons, I've never been inclined to buy one, so allow me to show you a cool way to make your own DIY awesome Christmas sweater at home for very little money at all. It's worth noting you don't need any experience for this, I've never ever attempted to make any kind of article of clothing ever before in my life. So it's going to be a first time for me but it should be pretty simple. To do this you will need a plain jumper, you can either pick out an old one from the back of your cupboard or you can go out and buy a really cheap plain one from a shop. I got mine from Primark in England for £10. You'll need a design for the sweater, I just went on Google Images for inspiration and then designed my own template. Which by the way if you want to copy the same design that I'm doing then you can download my template for free down in the description below. Alternatively just search Google Images for Christmas sweaters and find some inspiration from there. Next you'll need some pieces of felt in the colours that your design requires. I picked all of mine up from a local fabric store for just 35p each, so very cheap. Then you'll just need a pack of assorted needles, some thread and a thimble to make sure you don't prick yourself. All of which came to like a pound or two. If you're using the template that I provided then make sure you print an actual size if you're making a medium or a large sweater. If you're making a small or a smaller one then you might want to experiment by scaling it down so that it's not too big. To start with we need to use the template to cut out the fabric into the right shape. Be sure to pin the template into the felt so that it doesn't move around when you're cutting it. I had horribly blunt scissors which made it a lot harder than it should have been so if you can find some sharp scissors then make sure you do that. Do this for all the pieces and of course once you've done that assemble it to make sure that it's looking good and that it's going to work on the sweater. To start with it's best to sew together all of the felt in the design together to itself before you start putting it on the jumper. Now as you can obviously tell I'm using a needle and thread to accomplish this. Now you can buy some fabric glue which might make things a lot easier and quicker but there is a chance if you don't buy the right one that it won't last through the wash so I decided to go down the needle and thread route and I thought it would be a bit of fun as well. I'd only picked up a needle about twice before so it really is very simple. I did watch 5 minutes worth of how to videos on YouTube just before I started just so that I was putting the thread on the needle right and so I was making the right knots at either end of the thread so that it wouldn't come undone. I'm also using the double thread method as it makes it a lot stronger and you get two threads for the price of one. Now that all of that is sewn together and that the design's kind of all complete and ready and done, now you can start sewing that onto the jumper. Now for all of this you can stitch all the way around the outside of each of the little bits, but to be honest that will take a hell of a lot of time. The best way to do it is to use invisible stitches just like I did when stitching together the felt, and do these at just enough points around the edges of the whole thing to ensure that the design is well secured to the sweater. And here it is, I'm very proud of how it turned out, I think it looks pretty damn cool if I've got to say so myself. You can of course jazz it up even more by adding on some like tinsels or some flashing lights or anything like that. I decided to be fairly minimal because I didn't want it to look too ridiculous. For more Christmas videos from me, I've also made some cheesecake truffles which are amazing and will make perfect gifts for anyone in your family or any of your friends. So check that video out next and I've also made a Christmas hack slash how to video. So if you want to watch that one then click over here as well. If you like this sweater then do please give this video a thumbs up as it really helps out and I do really appreciate it. If you are a new viewer then click on the reindeer to subscribe so that you're notified whenever I make a new video in the future. But otherwise thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!